end time truth television the channel for the lovers of truth for the truth of the end time so if you are a lover of truth give us a subscription and god bless you shalom hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening i bring you greetings in the name of our lord jesus christ See, God is a wonderful God. There was this video I've been looking for for a very long time. A video of a woman who claimed to be the mother of Jesus Christ. Unknown to me that she was part or is part of this women that are wearing white, you know, white hair tie, sometimes red, and, uh, you know, very uh, long white dress like that. People in the categories of... Musa, the the woman at the narrow gate, and Catherine, and the rest of them, there are so many of them. You know, <laughs> I searched for the video. I saw it once, and I listened to it a few seconds, and I said I was going to do something about it. But when I was ready, because I was also, she, she has a son, you know, a son. You will understand what I mean when we get to that part of, of having a son. Now, I didn't see it. I searched for search. I even asked people. It seems like they've not seen it. But to the glory of God, a very beloved sister sent me a link. And lo and behold, it was the video. Now, for some persons who are finding it difficult to understand what we are saying when we talked about that Musa because they are the same. The message they give us is uh, the messages they get from their fathers. Uh, and that father of theirs must be a very confused father because our God is not that God. What if I, I, I have told you that Jesus' mother is here with us? That Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus, is here with us at this present time. Would you believe me? I want to show you the mother of Jesus. She's alive. Wonderful. Please stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to bring in some videos. It will be long. But if only you'll be patient enough to watch, you will get there. God bless you. Brothers and sisters, I just want to go straight into it today. I will start with uh, the, the, the reading one of the scriptures in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9 to 10. It said, The thing that had been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof, whereof it may be said, See, this is new. It has been already of old time, which was before us. There is no new thing under the sun. Brothers and sisters, this my YouTube channel is titled "Why I Call Myself G Why I Call Myself the Mother of the the Mother of Jesus Christ." I call my YouTube channel the Mother of Jesus Christ, and many people, a few people, are asking me question: Why I call myself the Mother of Jesus Christ? And that's why I'm making this YouTube video to explain why I call myself the Mother of Jesus Christ. Even one of the sisters. Uh, two days ago, wrote to me. She said her name is Sister Kumili Catherine. She advised me to upload a video saying why I call myself the mother of Jesus Christ. I I agreed. I agreed and, and they answered her back that yes, I will upload the video to explain why I call myself the mother of Jesus Christ. And that's why I read this Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9 to 10 to tell you that nothing is new on the earth. We have all been here before. I am the reincarnation of G I am, I am the reincarnation of the mother of G I am the reincarnation of Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. I am the reincarnation of Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. I am the reincarnation of Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. According to Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9 to 10, he said, nothing is new under the sun. Nothing is new on earth. There is nothing new on earth. Everyone has reincarnated. Everyone. I personally believe that we are the generation that was there when Jesus Christ was there. When Jesus Christ was born here through Mary. 
we were, we were all of us we were, we were there in that generation we were the last the generation that was there this is my own belief and god didn't tell me this one what god is telling me god and I'm, I'm calling my my youtube channel the mother of jesus christ because god in the eyesight of god i am the mother of the son of man i am the mother of jesus christ in the eyesight of god the let me go straight to the revelations that god gave me it was started when my father died in in 2015 my father and my brother died at the same week my father was 72 and my brother was 32 they died at the same week it hurt me so much one morning i was i was in the youtube i was i opened my youtube chat feed i saw a youtube video saying if you are in trouble call jesus christ all my life i was 40 at the time and i have never never prayed i used to practice new age meditation visualization yoga I was a personal fitness trainer for many, many years. That's what I was doing for my living. And that time, I have never, never prayed. I have never uh, prayed uh, prayed before. I've never called the name of Jesus Christ before. Anyway, uh, shortly after that video, I started to call the name of Jesus Christ ceaselessly. Uh, from April, from April, by around April, and they, they visited me. I called the name of Jesus Christ ceaselessly. I called him whatever I was doing. I was calling Jesus Christ. I called the names of, I, I did call the Hebrew names of, the Hebrew names of God as well. Uh, I can't remember the one I called, maybe the Yahweh or Yahweh. I called in the Hebrew, one of the Hebrew names of God, but I was calling Jesus Christ ceaselessly. That time I did call Akenje Michael. But God told us not to call the names of uh, angel. But I called the name of Jesus Christ ceaselessly from April. And the God visited me. Physical visitation is not a dream. It's not a vision. It's not out of body experience. This was a physical visitation. The first angel visited me uh, in 30, uh, 31st of August 2015. Uh, it was around 3 a.m. I was sleeping. Uh, this angel, I don't know how he got into my house or how he left. I was sleeping. He shoved me a little bit out of the bed. I was waking up, but I had my eyes open. No, I had my eyes closed. My two eyes was closed. And the angel spoke to me clearly. He said, Rosemary, Rosemary, you are the mother of the son of man. You had him. You didn't tell anyone. You were calling angels. What do you say? Then I heard my spirit man said, help me to remember this when I woke up. And then immediately I woke up out of that bed. Immediately I woke up out of that sleep. I just knew that I'm the mother of Jesus Christ. And I knew that the, the, the angel that visited me is, a, a, is a Prince Gabriel, angel Gabriel. I just knew. This was just a knowing that I'm the mother of Jesus Christ and the, the angel have just visited me, Angel Gabriel. Anyway, uh, at that, that time, immediately after I heard this news, I was attacked so much, so many spiritual attacks. I was made naked. I was led into the hospital, into Lewisham Hospital. I was led into the hospital. And they are in the hospital around the 12th midnight. I heard my name called three times from heaven. Rosemary, Rosemary, Rosemary. There is a male voice. I jumped out of the bed and answered. And the voice asked me, oh, you called me. You called me. You called me. What about your husband? Is he good? My husband, he's now my ex-husband. But that time he was my husband. He said, what about your husband? Is he good? I, I answered. I said, yes, he is good. And he, he said, okay, he is coming. In a minute, he was in, in a second. I don't know how many seconds he was in the hospital. And I was calling him Akenje, Akenje Michael. Akenje Michael. I was calling him. He treated me. He comforted me. He was with me there. And one of the things they told me there that made me to know again that I'm the mother of Jesus Christ, he said, Rosemary, show them my hair so that they will know that it's you. I bent my hair and showed them. I bent my hair and showed them my hair. And uh, I, I didn't ask questions. I didn't ask them, why do you want me to, who am I showing my hair? Who am I? Who am I? Uh, who am I? Tell me who I am. Who do? I didn't ask questions. I, I was crying. I was crying. I was, I had my eyes shut. My eyes were so closed. I was so afraid. Anyway, that's uh, another time. God made me to know that I'm the mother of um, the mother of Jesus Christ is in the hospital. In the hospital, I had two two angels crying, crying and calling mother, 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 mother. 
they are they are addressing me as mother in this age i don't have any children i, could, I wasn't able to have children i didn't used to see my menstrual cycle i have married two men which i have divorced i've married two men and i didn't conceive i'm, I'm 46 years old i don't have any children and they were calling me mother 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 when they called me mother I just knew it would draw me back to the mother of jesus christ the mother of the son of man i was told earlier on in the morning so that made that is another revelation that god have given to me to show me to tell me that i'm the mother of jesus christ okay um for this to make sense to you at least for it to make sense to you i'm going to tell you what this woman is suffering she's not mad she's with her senses you know, she is very much alive in her senses. She is not mad. But something is wrong with her. And that is what I will show you in the part two of this video. Please don't miss it. You've not heard anything at all. She, she had a very long explanation and the experiences and the things that made her believe that she is Jesus. She, she Jesus' is mother, Mary, the mother of Jesus. Have we seen you? in the part two of this video. See then from me to you. Shalom.